Hello, welcome once again to Stuff in Next Place. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we're here in camp. What? I'm trying to talk to the people. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. No. Okay, well, let's talk more. About um, we have a couple options. Shut up, Isaiah. I'm trying to hit my map button. There we go. Um, we are in Horseshoe Overlook. We have this home robbery, robbery, robbery by Javier that we could do. And then we also have... Doodly -doo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go steal an oil wagon as well for part of that John mission. Those are the only things really available. There are some um, bounties we could do if we wished in Saint Denis and Strawberry and such. I don't know if there are any in Valentine available. Uh, doesn't look like it. Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and do one of the home robberies, even though I'm not huge on that. I don't like hurting people's feelings. I don't like invading their homes. But we don't necessarily have to kill anybody. We'll see. I am a thief, after all. This is an outlaw gang. And then we'll do the John stuff. I'm still hoping yeah, that maybe Jack and uh, Sadie... And Jack's mother, I can't remember what the hell her name is. What? I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose <clears throat> he'd do the same for you. I doubt that. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. Yes, Mr. Grimshaw. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. I cannot remember John's wife's name now. Well, that's Swanson. Where the hell? <laughs> I was looking oh, for Javier. So I brought a bunch of food to camp recently. Lots of deer carcassi. Okay, Javier was over here. Ugh. Tent stakes and poles and stuff. They're they're in my way. Okay, that's not gonna work. For God's Have sake. A swig, no, thank you. Okay, Javier. Javier. You busy, Arthur? <clears throat> I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden okay. in the woods. Okay, I have no problem with this. Sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but... Does my gun have bullet holes in it? Of getting caught. Okay, yes, huh? <laughs> several. Let's go take a look. God damn it. And I've exactly. noticed that my other clothing take a look. is getting worn as well, like getting holes and stuff worn in. I don't know what you do about that. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Okay. This way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure. More or less. Is there a seamstress in this game who can fix my clothing? Why can't I remember John's wife's name? Driving me crazy. On, Annabelle was Dutch's girlfriend who got killed by Cole yeah. O'Driscoll. And I keep wanting to say Annabelle. Is it an A name? I don't know. She has been gone for so long, I can't remember who she is. Look at the bark on that frickin' tree, man. It's ridiculous. Man, they're not making us ride there. They're just cutting. Oh, kind of. So where are we? He said Cumberland Falls. Why do I have this stupid... Uh, get away. I don't need this. I was going to have to take a bath with my horse earlier. Uh, okay, so where are we? Where do we go? Where do we go? Right here. Where are Cumberland Falls? I don't know. But I haven't been in this area. This is interesting. But it is north of Valentine. All right, let's check it out. Oh. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. All right. Just up the hill this way. I don't like Follow to leave me. my beautiful horse. Goodbye, Isabella. What do I have? I have my varmint rifle on me right now, too. There's a spot up ahead where <clears throat> be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. You know what? Screw this. Ooh, cool. They have their own dialect. That's neat. 
Uh, I kind of maybe want my shotgun. Yeah. Oh, well, you there just you keep go. selling me on this job, don't you? Beautiful scenery. Okay, where are they? One step ahead of you. Big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. Horses. There's a lot of people living here. It's a large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. I ain't sure about this. I think we need to draw them out somehow. I got an idea. Follow me. Again, this is cooler and more involved than I thought it was going to be, like the bounty mission that we did recently. I thought it was just going to be you go to a house, break in, knock the people out, whatever, take their stuff. This is actually a mission. It's cool. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Climb a tree. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. I wonder what would have happened if I had found this place just while I was exploring on my own without Javier. If they're weird boogeyman people with strange dialects. I don't see anybody. Come on. Let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. I was gone for 10 minutes, I was. You can hardly get golden all day long, because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I'll flag her your felt. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You the understand shed. what they're saying? Yep. Not much of it. I understood everything. What are we doing out here? Okay, you take over by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Okay. Here I come. Sorry. Okay, where are they gonna be coming from? You shut your gulper. Okay, there's a dude in the house. Javier. Ah, he set fire to the shed. Good job, Javier. That should probably be over here then. They're probably going to be coming from this direction. Swinkin' heck. He's going to come out the door. Weirdos, you deserve to die because you're different than me. Where's everybody else? Somebody... Oh, shit, they're in the way. Okay, maybe I should get some... Get some cover. Yep, he's behind that. Ugh, that's a headshot. Yep, I think I might be shooting a woman. Or at a woman. Anybody else in there? Can't tell. Okay, there's still somebody in this window. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Oh, I just did like a dolphin dive. Didn't mean to. Trying to reload. Who else is left? It's just the guy in this cabin here. P 
Peek, 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 peek. Peek again. Come on. That's it. Gut shot. Arthur's looking pretty grizzled right now. I don't see any more of them. All right. Quick. Let's go. Hold on. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Let's do some looting. Got a banjo. Of course there's a banjo. We need to search all this nonsense, see what we can find here. Twelve bucks. That was worth it. Close that. Uh, cigarette card. Nice. It's those guys. The Jack Hall gang. Cool. Taking that. There's something on the windowsill that I can't seem to grab. Uh, cigarette cards. Pick up stranger. Anybody in here? Hmm. Is that Javier? Oh, it is Javier. Okay. Hey, buddy. How do I get up above to where the woman was shooting at us? Oh, there we go. Must loot her corpse. Must loot this corpse. Sense and a chest. Money stack. Fifty bucks. Large jewelry bag. Fifty bucks. Whoa, man. Do I have to give this to Javier? Will this hurt me? <gasps> okay, what's up, buddy? What are you doing? I found the shit. Oh, he wants me to push this. Okay. Is there another stash? <coughs> this is totally worth my while. Ooh. Well, look what we have here. Ah. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't Hell I? Hell yeah. Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. How much did I get? Sounds good. I already got a hundred bucks. What else? <coughs> How much, Arthur? Come on, count it! <coughs> what did I get? 175. Alright. 275. Blah, blah, blah. 275 bucks. Not bad. Hey, Bella. Oh, that's not Bella. <laughs> Check in with John about the oil wagon. Okay. Uh, where did Bella go? Or is he just stealing one of their horses? Oh, yeah, we left our horses behind. He must just be stealing one of their horses. Is it stealing when the people are dead? Bella! Isabella! Okay, so. I think... Oh, wait a minute. What? Aren't I supposed to get one of the oil things? Oh, okay. So now they just have me check up with him. They don't have them listed on the mini-map anymore. They were over by the oil offices, or the oil field. Okay. I guess we're going there next. Back to camp. Bella! Oh, there you go. 
Good girl. Let's go. Let's go, girl. Back to camp. See ya, Javier. This is the Hungarian half-breed from the bounty hunting mission. It's just been sitting here waiting the whole time. Oh, buddy. What are you doing, buddy? Go, be free. You're free. What am I supposed to do with this horse? It's all right. It has food. Uh, I guess I will pat it. This is the frickin' horse. I'm gonna give you a brushing, and then we're gonna go. You're not my horse. I've got Bella. There you go. I wish I could take your saddle off, but I cannot. All right, let's go, Bella. Weird. I just saw that horse standing there, and I studied it, and it was like, this is your temporary horse. Oh yeah, this mission. Crazy, or that mission. The bounty hunting mission. All right, well, that was a fun little diversion. We have arrived back at camp. I guess we have to check in with John now. I don't know why the map markers for stealing those oil wagons are gone, but I guess we'll find out when we check in. Camp fund zero, I better donate some money. But first, the most important thing, brush your horse. Always brush your horse. There you go. Oh, she's gleaming white. And we will feed her. She's a little hungry. Look at that face. Oh, my God. She's so gorgeous. All right, let's go see what John's up to. Hey. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Yeah. Okay. Is John wandering around here? John boy. Still no sign of Ab... Oh, it's Abigail. Jesus, okay, I remember the name finally. Abigail and Jack. I should contribute right now. We will give eh, money and eh, about 20 bucks. I bought a chicken coop recently. That's why we don't have any money, I guess. Hey, and that's supposed to make our stew better. All right. Oh, it's Micah. He's here now. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Right. Dick mugger. All right. Let's go talk to John. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, I clean forgot. Well, don't worry, it's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Somebody else did it. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yes, but um, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, you, Arthur. Even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. That's interesting. So I didn't do that part of the mission, so now I can't? Very strange. Very strange. Now look, I've got a map marker in tent or in camp for Abigail, it looks like. <gasps> it is. Okay, Abigail Roberts, where is the other map marker? This is for Albert Mason. Okay, that's a stranger mission. Where is I don't see any marker for the John one, but I think this might be the rumored fishing mission that I had heard so much about that I couldn't do because Abigail was just not in camp. So let's go talk to her and see what's going on. Abigail. <clears throat> uh, 
I wonder if that means that Sadie's back or if it's only people who need to give you the mission will return to camp. Some kind of weird glitch that apparently Rockstar is aware of and they're going to try to fix it. Hi, Arthur. There's Jack. Come here a minute. Hey, Jack. I cannot greet him at the moment. Okay. We will talk to Abigail instead. Hello, person who hasn't been here forever. I'm talking to you. There we go. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the Where's poor Where's his dad? Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Does this count as morning? It's morning. Do I have to go pretend to sleep? It's morning. <laughs> Maybe they're just going to make a whole day pass. My hair is getting long now. Look at that. Got the pomade in there. All slick. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's make sure I'm not going to miss anything here. So we're in the middle of a mission anyway, I guess. So I can't do the Albert Mason thing. No other markers. I'm just worried. I'm worried about missing out on things. Here's young Jackie Marston. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time. It sucks that he hasn't been here this whole time. We could have been interacting with him. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Arthur's good, isn't he? Feigning enthusiasm. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Or maybe he actually is enthusiastic. Maybe he likes the idea, in spite okay, of his protestations girl. to Abigail. Get up on this amazing, beautiful horse. Come on. This is fun. It's a cool little mission. All right. Look at that. Let's go then. Compendium well, updated fishing rod. Go? Hold up. So now I have this all the time. It can be found in the hunting section of the item wheel. Okay, cool. Do I need bait and lures and all that stuff? I'm sure they'll teach me. Back out. Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't <clears throat> go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? No, you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> His voice sounds snow. like a grown woman I trying like to sound like snow. a little kid. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Hmm. Well, I'm sure someone can get you a nice Sometimes ask for help retrieving item, find a return really? to them camp for more reward. When? Okay, so now Jack wants me to find a Penny Dreadful book. A story of the Wild West. Okay. There's somebody else. Uh, Mary Beth wants me to get her a fountain pen. I have to remember that as well. We'll see. Got fish to catch first. So I guess there's several little mini that's fetch that's quests like that. Okay. I got a pocket watch for Lenny. Hosea wants a certain book as well. I can't remember what that was. All right. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Cool. I'm glad you can fish in this game. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Or do I need to get my fishing pole off my wheel? Started. 
So it said it was in uh, in the. Hey. Can you show me where, Uncle Arthur? Maybe it's not on the horse though. It said it was in the hunting section of the item wheel. Oh, there it is. I didn't notice it. Okay. Just by the water there? You mean? Down here, boy. My pole did not equip. All right. Hold L1 and tap R1 to use the item wheel. Okay, there it is. Select the fishing rod. There we go. First. Oh, cool. Some bait. Hold L1 to use the bait wheel. We will use cheese. <laughs> bobber fishing, no bait. Bobber fishing, bread. But a uh, shame pickerel. I don't have any corn. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. I'm gonna use some cheese. Best for catching bluegill and rock bait. Belly bass. Bit. These fish can be now, found almost everywhere. Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. There we go. Like that. That's it. Good. Press R2 to hook the fish when you feel a bite. Now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. You gotta set you the hook. feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Quickly rotate R to reel in the fish when it is tired. So how do I know when it's tired? Is it tired yet? See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Okay. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling oh. him in nice Stop. and steady. Okay. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Oh. He struggled. Is Jack gonna catch something? You okay there? I think so. Hey, look at that. What is that? Looks like a sunfish. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. Blue <clears throat> almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. All right. <laughs> Throw it in the water. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. All right. I'm going to fish again. This is a nice, nice little I'm respite. Pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right. Don't go too far. Do a little short cast. See that cast, Jack? Fish attracted to the bait will often nibble before taking bite. Come on. I want something big. Whoop, think I got one. There we go. Okay, it's not struggling. Reeling it in. Reeling. Oh, oh. You got a stick of things, Jack. I know. Ugh. I don't like the motion of reeling. You have to what rotate the there? stick. You'll see. It's a surprise. He's making something out of flowers. We're doing manly things like fishing, Jack. God, can't I reel any quicker? Come on. Come on. Come on. What do we got? Oh, for God's sake, it doesn't seem like it's going in any faster. Or it's coming in any closer. Which way am I supposed to reel? This way? Maybe I was letting outline? I can't remember. Okay, it seems a little closer now. Uh, clockwise. Uh, there we go. There we go. 
That looks even smaller than the other one. What the hell is that thing? Oh, this one's red fan pickerel. Okay. Not bad. Native to lake swamps and streams, pickerel are aggressive predators, so so bread is just about as good as any bait. Meat is flaky. Alright, uh, I guess I'll throw that back too. I don't want to cook fish. Alright, cool. Uh, what you doing, Jack? Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. What? I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Wow. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Pinkertons? Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Uh-oh. Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton detective agents. Knew it. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. What? I paid off all my bounties. Thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up uh, near yeah. Granite Pass. <clears throat> oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac? Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time he was I one got of our gang who was missing at the beginning. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are Damn. You? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> Interesting. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. So this was a pretty important mission. I'm glad I got to do it. I don't like it here anymore. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave here, kitty. Kitty, kitty bye, kid, pretty soon. Words, speaking. I have a feeling that the John mission, robbing another train, Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? may lead to us leaving this campsite. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, he uh, went to move to a farm so. in the countryside where he has lots of room I to roam and play. Where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So we're going to have to go talk to Dutch. Let him know what's up. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Hmm. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Should have. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. A lot of plot the gang. Mountains. We just need to stay calm. Need a new hat. All right. Well then, that's pretty interesting. Um, let me look at our map. <clears throat> oh, it did that instead. Arthur does that, but fail for ever take check on a fishing trip. Blah blah blah. Okay, let me do my map, please. There we go. We have our John's mission. There it is, Rat Chair. So we can go out. We'll do uh arthur may or albert mason then we'll do john we'll do those in the next episode of stuff and things plays a lot of plot a lot of interesting developments going on here thank you guys so much for watching i've been good for a better in another place i'll see you later so you you saw pinkertons did you saw met and got the full message and what did you think i think we're in real trouble but the only way out is forward i know that Blackwater business seems to have finished us. <laughs> All right, then.